Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We're obviously not in the garage tonight, we are in the yard and we are going to be stripping down this engine that came out of the donor Volvo, which you may have seen the previous video where we take that out. I'll put a link up here somewhere. So tonight we're gonna to be stripping this down so I can get this ready to take to the machine shop. So that is pistons, rods, and the crank needs to come out of this. Gonna strip it completely down to the bare block so the balls can get measured and honed. Now there are probably some of you guys watching this video thinking, hang on Andy, didn't you say that this engine was making really good compression and you wanted to keep the standard pistons rings in there and just stick in the forged rods from the other engine? Well, that was the plan. But as you know, plans always change. And what do you know? I've ended up with a set of forged pistons. I've also got some ARP head studs and ARP main bolts as well. Um, I've also got some ACL race bearings for the big ends. So that is the plan for this evening. I'm gonna strip this engine down so I can get it to the machine shop tomorrow. So yeah, I suppose nothing left to say other than time for a montage. Okay guys, so the block has been stripped all the way down and that is what we've got left. So the crank I've not been able to get out because of the oil pump is on the front of here and you can see that this pulley is stopping the water pump from coming off so I need to get a puller so I can get that off. Um, I've got one at home, I just haven't got one here with me. so. I'll, uh, I'll bring that in tomorrow and get that pulled off. And then this is all ready to go over to Bander Engineering in Portsmouth. Portsmouth. All they'll have to do is clean this up and measure and hopefully hone these balls and we are ready to go. Because all of the bearings are in absolute pristine condition. They actually look brand new. Um, so that's the mains and the big ends. So uh, I don't think there is much wear on this engine at all. So I don't think we're gonna need to overbore this. I hope we don't because I've already bought the pistons and they are standard size 81 mil. Fingers crossed, this is going to come back 81 mil balls and we can just send it. If this isn't part of a longer video, 
uh, then this is the end of this one and I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe if you've got any questions drop them down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video bye for now